Hello everyone, Paul from High Tech Legion, and guess what? It's almost Computex time. So we're going to take a look at something new today, and that will be the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780. Yes, this is the new Kepler design video card from NVIDIA based on the GK110. 110, which is basically a Tesla card, but now it's for the desktop. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So looking at the box, as you can see, since this is from NVIDIA, it's black. It does say GeForce GTX on the front of it, and it does have the NVIDIA logo. Up on the top here has, an, has the NVIDIA logo also. When we take it out of its encasement, the, the first shell, of course you see the actual box itself is black again. Let's go ahead and open that up. Flip it open. And first thing we come to is a case sticker. It's a special edition G4 sticker. And then of course inside the anti-static bag is the actual car itself. So I'll go ahead and get rid of this box and then we'll take a look at the car. Look how pretty. As you can see, the 780 is now, of course since this is their single card flagship, uh, well of course Titan would be the flagship, but in, in any sense, since this is, their, this is technically their flagship car, they have now designed it with a shroud that looks exactly like if you remember the Titan and the 690, you have the silver, silver shroud with the clear window to see the heat sink, you have the better fan, and also it says GeForce GTX on the front here. We do need a six pin and an eight pin power connector in order to power this card. The front of the card itself has two DVI ports, HDMI and a display port. It's PCIe 3.0 compatible. And of course it is a rear exhausting fan. When we look at the back here, of course this is the PCB. So let's talk about the card itself. You're going to get either four or five gra graphics processing clusters with this. It has 32 streaming multiprocessors and 2304 CUDA cores. Now, this is just about double the CUDA cores. The base clock is 863 megahertz, and of course the boost clock will boost you up to 900 megahertz. There is three megabytes of three gigabytes of memory on this card, but what they did was they doubled it. Now you're going to get 384 bits of a memory interface on this. Now, if you remember, the GTX 680 had two gigs and with half of with half of the memory uh, interface. In order to power the 780, you're going to need a 600 watt power supply minimum. Its gaming TDP is going to be roughly around 200 watts. Total TDP is 250. For those of you who want to know about transistors, 7.1 billion. And what I could say about this is we've got new games coming out that are going to require a lot more memory and a lot more bandwidth. This should do the trick because of the extra memory and the extra memory bandwidth that it has. So remember everybody, with this new card, you're getting the upgraded encasement. You're getting the upgraded fan. You do have the visible heat sink through and it only requires one six pin and one eight pin power connector. Now that you've taken a look at the card, let's go back over to, to uh, my work area and I'll talk about it a little bit more. We're going to talk about GeForce Experience for a couple seconds and we'll go ahead and wrap this up.
So now with that we've actually taken a look at the card, let's go ahead and talk about performance. Performance, if you have a GTX 580, you're probably going to get about a 70% performance increase just by upgrading to this card. Is it time to upgrade from that 580? If you've used it for a while, probably yes. And since you own a 580, the price of the 780 is going to be within your price range since you own a 580 anyway and you paid for that back then. Price on this card is going to be $649. I know that sounds a little bit steep, but when you look at the possibility of this lasting more than two to three years for you, if you don't upgrade that often, it's going to be well worth the investment. Now, this also has GPU Boost 2.0. GPU Boost 2.0 is a lot better that I found than GPU Boost, the original. What they have done is they've linked the thermal and, and the, uh, <coughs> the power input. So basically what's going to happen is, if you've noticed with GPU, if you're familiar with GPU boost, before when the thermals went up, you used to lose performance on the boost. Now that the thermal and the, uh, the power output are linked, you're going to get a more a better overclock, the boost is going to stay up. I've actually had this card up to about 83 Celsius and I still maintain the same boost and that's even with an overclock. I got it overclocked to 1215 megahertz. Another thing that, that Nvidia has done is, if you're not familiar with GeForce Experience, GeForce Experience is for gamers. The, the settings that are used with GeForce Experience are going to allow you to maximize your gameplay experience with any of the NVIDIA video cards, but specifically since we're talking about this one, what GeForce Experience is, is a software package. It will detect what you have in your system, as in your GeForce card. It will detect the monitor that you have, and then when you click optimize on it, and of course it'll download your games, it does have quite a few games that are listed in the GeForce Experience, they're adding more every day. So it'll, it'll detect your games and it'll show you what settings you have on your computer at that time for that game and then it'll offer optimal settings. Basically what's going to happen is they have their engineers testing or their gamers testing this and what they've done is they've tested all the games and they've tested all the settings to allow you to play at frame rates of 40 frames a second with the smoothest playback that you could possibly get. So again, we have the GeForce GTX 780. This is something new from NVIDIA. It's the new generation of DirectX 11 cards. Of course, it's the still in the Kepler family. This is their, I guess you could say, flagship model, unless you consider the Titan the flagship, but this can be their flagship model, single GPU. For the full review, go ahead and visit www.hitechlegion.com, my friends. On Facebook, facebook.com, front slash HTL reviews, Twitter, Twitter.com, High Tech Legion. And of course, this YouTube channel, why don't you subscribe to us? Because let me tell you this, with over 1,000 videos uploaded, if you didn't see it at High Tech Legion, you might not have seen it at all. Thank you, everybody. This gets an Editor's Choice Award. Make sure you read the review for all the information that you need. See you the next time. Stay thirsty, my friends. Bye-bye.